found the American dream in Mexico. That's the truth. Um, I came down here with nothing and pretty much nothing to lose and uh, completely changed my life for the better. Um, it, it's been something that uh, I think for the rest of my life I'll never forget the moment I came down here and it kind of all just started playing out. But it's been very special and you know I owe a lot to this culture. At the club level, the youth level, it was always, uh, I was I think one of three Hispanic kids on my team. Um, but once I turned 16, my dad uh, put me in his men's league club uh, to play as well. And I, <laughs> you know, I think it was 98% uh, Hispanic, majority Mexican there. So I, I learned kind of two flavors of football, uh, which I think to this day has helped me. What I hear from an outside perspective a lot is mentally we're a lot different. That we, we have these traits that uh, majority Mexican players don't have, you know, because we've learned uh, on the other side of the border. You know, mentally we have that American fighting spirit where never, never die, you know, there's always a chance. You can always uh, do more, do better. Um, you know, mentally I think it's, we're known as being a little bit uh, stronger. Um, and, and you mix that in with what you learn here tactically and technically, uh, it, it's, it's a pretty good combo. Playing with Cholos uh, has been amazing, the fan support here is unlike any other I've experienced. I almost feel like they identify with me, like I'm one of them, you know? Um, Mexican-American kid who made it out and now is playing ball, and, and, and they love that, you know? I think that it's, it's a pride that they have seen me, and, and it's a pride that I have, you know, seeing how much, you know, it, it's come to fruition um, through their eyes, so it's, it's been, completely gratifying for myself and, and you know, I, I expect to keep working hard and hopefully give the Cholo fans a lot to cheer about. This is kind of, this area is kind of where my career started, you know, I started a professional career uh, more or less in San Diego, that's where I kind of got my break uh, to go to the Galaxy. So it feels like it's coming full circle. Um, I'm enjoying my time here. I'm, I'm close to friends and family. You know, I'm, I'm happy off the field and I think that should translate to, to hopefully success on the field. So these are Las Gorgias de Torreón. This is actually my teammate, Fernando Arce. He also plays on the Mexican national team. Uh, we both came from Club Santos Laguna, which is in the city of Torreón, little town of Torreón. And the delicacy there are gorditas is pretty much a, uh, it kind of looks like an asada and pupusa. It's a pastry filled with uh, meats, uh, veggies, sometimes beans, cheeses, and all different kinds, but they're delicious. He happens to own this place. Uh, so one of the first places I came to without knowing he owned it was here, which was kind of funny. The next day I was like, yeah, I tried this place out. And he was like, that's my place. So there you go. This one is chicharrón prensado, which is almost like a pork roll. Uh, they're delicious. Bon appetit, guys. I'm making some for you guys to go. Enjoy that. My family, uh, they never miss a game. You know, my dad, um, doesn't matter if I'm playing national team, if I'm playing club, 
It doesn't matter the game's pay-per-view or what it is, he's going to watch it. He wants to see our national team do well. He wants to see us uh, go into Brazil. He wants to see myself in Brazil. He understands that um, before the injury, you know, I, I, was, I was there. I was heavily involved in, in uh, qualifying, you know, Gold Cup and, and, and whatnot. And so he sees uh, the opportunity that's still there, and you know, he, he's excited for that. Being here and watching that game, I watched it with my dad. Uh, that was that was kind of a surreal moment for me because it almost feels like this whole thing is coming full circle. And you know, obviously, we both wanted the U.S. to win. Uh, my dad's huge uh, Mexican supporter. Uh, soccer has been you know in his life and his blood um, forever. But I represent the United States of America. Uh, he's my number one fan, and it doesn't matter who the U.S. is playing. You know, he's always going to be behind us.